coming to us live via satellite, it's Hergen Jürgen, the IKEA factory robot. <laughs> Hergen Jürgen. Hergen Jürgen, welcome. Firstly, am I saying your name right? Yep, that is right. I'm actually named after my uncle, old man Papa Jürgen, Fergen, Hergen, Mergen, Lurgen, Kirken, Zergen. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad we cleared that up. Look, I'm sorry to say, but the last thing I bought at Ikea was actually missing some pieces. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I, uh, you must have misheard me. I said it was missing some pieces. Yes, of course. That's the IKEA seal of approval. Every product, no matter what the size or price, will be missing two screws or come with three extra pieces that don't plug into anything. It's written here on page six of the IKEA corporate guidelines. That, that, so that looks like the manual for a coffee table. No, no, that's our corporate guidelines. This is the instruction manual for the coffee table. Uh, they look identical to me. Exactly. Our corporate guidelines are also the instruction manual for a coffee table. How handy is that? Not at all. I have some friends who can't go into Ikea with their partner because they're bound to get in an argument. What do you say to that? Oh. That's wonderful news, thank you. I will pass the positive feedback back on to our divorce and separations department. They work really hard at creating an environment that can tear apart even the most solid of family units. <laughs> oh, we've also recently spent a lot of money on customer surveys, and I am happy to announce that this year, we're focused on improving the store layout. Oh, that's, that's good news. So we hired the guy who designed the maze at the end of Stanley Kubrick's film, The Shining. So if all goes to plan, you'll need over seven hours to get from the entry to the checkout. That sounds absolutely infuriating. Indeed it is. Infuriating is one of our core values. As you can see, the pyramid of success starts with three pencils, followed by infuriating. Next level down is name everything with fake Swedish words. And finally, the most important core value, meatballs. Well, I agree. The meatballs are incredible. Would you like to know how we make them? Absolutely not. Your meatballs are actually on my list of things I never want to know about, closely followed by the sneeze guard at Sizzler and the horrific hotel practice of not washing bedsheets. <laughs> Check out this for a segue. What's the culture like at Ikea? Oh, it's a really progressive company. We have a great working environment and you even get your own office if you can assemble it. Uh, I've always wondered, how do you name your products? So sometimes. We take normal words and add squiggly lines and dots to them, like this. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then sometimes we take that word and add the word Bjork to the end of it. <laughs> but my favorite is to empty an Ikea bucket of letters on the floor and make a word. Oh, oh look, Esvajornieries. That would make a great name for a chair. Well, we better let you get back to work. Thank you for your time. Hergen Jürgen, the IKEA factory robot. Thank you, Greg. Stick around, we'll be right back. But I also love filmmaking, and that was kind of my dream, was to make films about science. Ant, where are you? Hello, Gray. I'm in the future, the year 2035. <laughs> oh my goodness, wow. Are they some kind of, like, future x-ray glasses or something? Sorry, no, it's a, a fancy dress party. Sorry, I left those on.